I saw this video from Johnny Harris, one of my favorite YouTubers. He used to work for Vox under the series Borders, so he went to cover all sorts of different topics which people don't really care. Like for example, the crisis of the neon lights in Hong Kong. I'm here in Hong Kong, and the city is coming alive, showing one of its most iconic aspects, the neon lights. And interesting. I love his videos and he's one of the reasons why I'm in YouTube in the first place. So I stumbled upon this video entitled how to force yourself to learn things. Now not only this video struck me on a personal level, I would also have my own story to tell based on the title of his video. So this is the story of how I actually won a video editing competition with zero knowledge of video editing. Let's go. Okay we're just back. Um, if I just came back from a drive let me set it up first and we'll continue here was what all right let me color correct it okay let's go let's start it by the way if you guys want just the tips just go to this timestamp here but it's better for you to listen to the story that i'm about to present before going to it so that it gives a bit more context to where i'm coming from the year was 2013, I was 23, I was in my third year of my urban planning degree. In my course every year there will be an annual inter-university gathering called Planning Students Assembly. So all of the urban planning students will actually come around the country and participate in several other competitions which a lot of universities, intra-university things do. Five universities, University of Malaya, UITM, USM, UKM and IAUM. So of course in competitions we have several categories right and for that particular year they had a new category called video category so there was actually no one participating for this video category and coincidentally I was at that time just started watching vimeo.com and I liked those videos and so I thought you know but to be fair the only video projects that I did was these Yeah, I'm your video guy. The theme of the video competition was entitled Spaces. So it basically wants to show the interconnectedness between spaces in the city and the people they are living in. So we had seven weeks to prepare for the whole video. And then I thought, oh, still a long way a while. Yeah, for the first few days I was relaxed. But then days turned to weeks and there was just four weeks left. And then I started panicking. Literally the first two weeks of the remaining four weeks, I was left anxious. I didn't know what to do. To get me started, I supposedly went to YouTube, obviously, to look at how to shoot videos because I never actually shot a professional video before. The videos that you watched, those were the only video edits I did and that was back in 2008, which was five years ago. So after watching all these videos, I got inspired for a bit and then I downloaded or torrented Sony Vegas Pro 10 because it had the word Pro in it. And when I opened the software, God, please no! So I had to learn all of it myself, alone. Then for the last two weeks, then only I started filming. I borrowed a camcorder for my skater friend and I also had two friends of mine who were photographers to help me find talents and shoot in the video. So we were shooting in KLCC and we got some workers in KLCC to, for an interview. Then after the shoot, when we were going back to the car park, one of my friends, who's an active photographer till this day, he personally told me, said, sorry bro, I can't join you because I have some other stuff. We don't have any time for this and you have another like one and a half weeks so I think you'll lose this competition man I, I, I'm sorry at least probably you get a consolation prize or something I'm sorry but I can't help you I was pissed off you know that triggered me as if in Super Mario Kart you get a mushroom and you go exceedingly fast <laughs> That's when he hit it for me. And during that night, my creativity spike was so high that for the rest of the three days, I watched video after video after video, opening YouTube, looking at the tutorials, searching filmmakers, know how they film stuff, the POVs of the camera, the editing styles, the different styles of editing for different types of filmmakers. I ate it up. I ate it up. I ate everything up. Because when you have this creativity overload, the creativity spark in your head, you tend to go forth. It becomes your passion. You don't care what other people may say. There were literally days where I, I only ate once and I only had a drink. That's all. Because I felt challenged. And I know that if I don't 
get this right or screw up. To others, maybe it was just a simple competition, but for me, it was my reputation on the line. I didn't have any reputation back then, but I had to build up something in my life. For the longest time, I didn't have any particular goals in life, so I thought this was my golden opportunity to make something meaningful and that can make me feel proud that I've contributed to the university in any way because I haven't done anything back then. I was a sore loser. I, uh, I didn't get good grades in school. I wasn't a bright student. So anyway, let's get on to the topic of this video. I literally filmed a lot of b-roll myself. I asked my lecturers uh, for uh, interviews. I arranged my friends for a hangout session in Mama and I would pay for their meals. I would literally do everything myself with no help. And back then, I used to work with this microphone. Wait, let me check. Uh, yeah, I think I still have it. It's right here. Um, so if it's this Zoom H2N that I got from 2012. So I had this one with me and a very cheap camcorder camera to film all of my footage. I would stay up. I would edit day in and day out. It was mostly DIY. I didn't have anyone to teach me. I edited that thing day and night up to the point of the submission day itself. In, you know how close it was? Literally 10 minutes before I had to submit the CD for the category. I was at the front counter. I, have, I haven't done finish editing yet. All the other universities have already sent in theirs. I haven't. 10 minutes beforehand, I just burnt it, sent it, and hope for the best. Then finally, the night came where they would show all of the videos from all of the universities. I didn't sit throughout the whole ceremony. I stood at the very back, hands near my waist, being very, very nervous about what would happen. I was just walking up and down, up and down, and then the video started rolling. And then something weird happened. Video upon video upon video, I slowly gained the confidence that, yeah, I can win this. I can actually win this. And then finally, when my video came, obviously, as we said before, made with regard to the plan or any other activities which are taking place in the city, they can voice, they, they can voice the concern direct to the concerned local authorities. Everyone was applauding. Oh man, it was a very, it, it was a time where I was so, so proud of my work that after even the video showed, my university friends actually texted me, bro. We've won this thing, we've won this thing. And I can't believe we did it, bro. We won this, we won this man, great video. And I thought it as well, but then, you know, I just reserved that the fact in my head until the final night of the ceremony came when they announced the winners of the video contest. I won. I can show you the trophy. So this is the trophy. So you say that I got number one or Johan. Johan means champion in Malay. From the outside, it doesn't look much, but you know, for me, this is one of the most important trophies that I have in my collection. I still love it to this day, you know. And I was actually competing against people in their respective universities who actually did corporate videos for their own universities, and I won. I had no idea why, but people liked that video so much that it inspired me to create more videos. So now, back to the title of this video. How could I actually won without having no video experience editing whatsoever? When you have a proper deadline and you have accountability for that to deliver, you will have that ever urging drive to push yourself forward because you know you cannot screw this up. That particular accountability that you have will send you to heights you couldn't even imagine. So Johnny Harris's point is still number one, have a date set date and feel accountable for your actions inadvertently you will have to force yourself to learn and you may never know it may, it may become your new passion and other points as well that i would like to highlight is number one read and understand the competition brief thoroughly now i know that sounds dull that sounds cliche but you have no idea how many people overlook this rule i still remember that night the judges said that my video won because it clearly showed the relationship of the city to its people and unlike some videos where they took a more um, satirical approach or a more cinematic approach it didn't really send the message to the audience but mine did supposedly number two look at the trends during that particular time back then video at that time had this very cinematic trend which in my eyes even during that time it was quite dull people expect a particular style when it comes to videos at that time everything has to be cinematic everything has to be drawn out b-roll everywhere I mean it doesn't necessarily mean that's bad but when you are aware of the trend and you know how to spin it to your favor and you know how to make it a bit more interesting a bit more spicy that is when it stands out among the crowd so if you can try and introduce something new but it doesn't break totally away from the trend try and put a spin on the trend that is currently popular the third one research 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 
do your homework. What I would do is when you are researching for a particular topic, research to death on that particular topic. Find, find, continue finding more research, continue to finding more sources and references until you get one that inspires you so much that from that it expands your mind to other further possibilities and then research on those further possibilities to leverage yourself. Thanks for watching guys. Hit the like and subscribe button if you like this type of videos. Dislike it if you dislike it. It's alright if you're not subscribed. That means I can have to continue making better content. But by subscribing, you can help me keep accountable for the videos that I put out. So probably next week, we'll make a much lighter video topic similar to my siblings or dating video. It'll be something similar. I think it'll be more controversial. Alright, thank you. See you guys. Ciao.